Yo, what is up guys? Fresh Ninja here. Um sorry about the I couldn't follow up with the uh um you know upload at the uh um for the, you know one video a week, but I mean um this last week uh I've had a lot of stuff uh, come for school um already cuz it's my you know it's my senior year so I got to take it seriously. Um but besides that, let's get into um what this video is going to be about today. Um so um there have been I guess leaks you could say a um, couple weeks or you know months or so um, that Black Ops 3 was starting to go into the custom zombies um, you know they would they would start um, releasing uh, mod tools um, to you know for the 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 creators and and us players to be able to create zombie maps well that has actually come true and um, it literally just came out as I'm making this recording it just came out the the um, the you know the mod tools just the pre beta has just came out today um and so what i'm going to be telling you guys showing you guys is basically um if you have black ops 3 and you love custom zombies or zombies in general and you want to get started with this i'm going to show you guys exactly um you know what to do um to get you know to download the mod tools um and to basically just get started on if you uh, you know, to create a map and then to um, play your specific map or any other maps that you're interested. So besides that, guys, um, let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do um, is make sure you have the mod tool to open beta patch. This won't work unless you have it. It's that simple. So um, if you have it downloaded, awesome. If you haven't, make sure you get it. Uh, make sure you update it. And usually it automatically updates when you try to play the game again. So, um, but just just make sure you have the update downloaded. But once you have the update downloaded for the mod tools, um, then uh, first off, we'll go ahead and uh, start with if you just want to straight up play custom matches. So all you have to do, the matches, playing matches is a lot easier. You don't have to do a lot of stuff to do that than like actually if you want to create a map. So first thing, the if you want to play a map. I will leave these links in the description. Um, so this first one is um, the How to Play Workshop Guide. Um, I'll leave the link in the description, like I said. But once you've got this open, you'll want to go here. There's a little click here right there. Go ahead and that. This will take you to this. Um, you want to go to Browse, and you want to go to Items. Once you're there, this basically takes you to just right now all of the custom maps that there are available right now um, I I have heard that Devil's Workshop has the most views and it is the best one so far um, created so um, if I, I mean if I were you I would download it you could you could download whatever you want but um, I'd recommend this one um, so but all you literally have to do all you have to do it, make sure you're signed in to your steam make sure you sign into your steam then come to this well you'll already be here but make sure you sign in before you subscribe because you'll obviously will have to sign you'll have to sign in before you subscribe once you're signed in um, go ahead and just subscribe to the um, devil's workshop um, and once that is once you've subscribed make sure you go to your um, your steam um, your steam app once you take it to there it'll automatically uh, start downloading it for you and once this is done downloading you're basically um, you're basically ready to go. Um, so I will cut in to Black Ops 3 and I will show you what to do in Black Ops 3 to uh, play the game. So once you guys are in Black Ops 3, um, basically all you have to do, it's quite simple, um, just disregards the, uh, the mods thing, you really don't need that. Um, so once you've got uh, Devil's Workshop downloaded or whatever map you've got downloaded, all you gotta do is go to Zombies and then go to Private Game, Change Map, and there it is. You've got Devil's Workshop right there. It's it's that simple. It really is. Um, I I mean sometimes I mean up to other maps might not you know just show up. I don't know. You might have to look that up if a year if yours doesn't go up. But um, I know Devil's Workshop where it's great. Um, it's also a great map. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So there you have it for playing maps. I mean all you have to do really is go to that page and find a map that you want to play. Subscribe to it. Wait for it to done down. Wait for it to become you know downloaded and subscribed. Come back to the game and it should be done. So and and, and you just you just go to a private game and you uh, go ahead and play. Um, so besides that, um, yeah, that's basically it. So now I'm gonna cut back to uh, my browser and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need downloaded to be able to create your own map. 
So for those of you who actually want to create um, your own zombie ma zombies map, uh, this is how it's going to go out. First thing you want to do, um, I will also leave this link in the description. Uh, this is the the workshop guide of how to create a uh, zombies map. Um, so basically, this is a really helpful guide. Um, I haven't looked into too much of creating um, a map. All I know basically is what you need to get, like you, what you need to download, the like the actual mod tools in general. Um, and basically you know what to, what you need and basically that's about it so um, I will show you because it's it's kinda hard to find like it doesn't you can't just download them in Steam you have to find them somewhere else so um, I will leave um, the link in the description for where to download them and I'll show you in just a second um, basically yeah I don't I really don't know you guys all have to uh, uh, this is a helpful guide I can see it probably is um, so just look through this once you've got everything downloaded and so uh, right now I guess I will show you where uh, you know what you need to download so these three tools right here, um, basically, um, where you want to go, I'll leave this link in the description. Um, when you click on the link, it'll take you here. Um, but basically, all you have to do is right here, there's going to be this little install right here. Um, you click install on there, and it's going to ask you um, if it can open up your Steam app. Do so. And uh, once you click on your Steam app, um, I it's mine's installing right now um, it'll say Call of Duty Black Ops 3 mod tools quite simple um, once you've uh, you know opened up Steam it'll you know once you click accept and everything whatever what it asks you to do it'll open up your uh, Steam app and then it will start um, downloading the uh, the thing you know the mod tool kit or whatever you know all the tools you need so um, once you get that downloaded basically you know it's a big file so just give it a while um, but besides that that's all you need um, that's, you know it comes in a whole kit so um, that is gonna be it uh, for today's, today's video if you did um, find this um, helpful it would be greatly appreciated um, if you guys could uh, drop a like and uh, comment um, if you you know I don't even know just just give me like a thumbs up or a smiley face in the in the comments. I don't just it's anything helpful. Um, but yeah, it took me a while to put this together. Um, but like I said, a lot of school um, in the past week, so uh, I haven't really been able to uh, make a make a video every uh, every week. But uh, like I said, I'm doing my best. Uh, but besides that, um, thank you, thank you guys. <laughs> I, I I screw up my uh, outro. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay stealthy. Oh,